Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the admin decorators and that is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Open up your code editor and now we can successfully close up all this because we are done with them. And in the user admin, I want you to create a new file called decorators. So, decorators. Dot .py then in here we'll write very simple code from django.contrib we want to import messages okay and also from django.shortcuts we want to import redirect import redirect okay now let's define a new admin underscore login or admin required so only an admin can log into that component or into that view. So passing a view function parameter in here. This view function parameter is pretty much the actual view that we'll be putting this on. So view function is pretty much this, change password, settings view, settings view, reviews view, shop page view. That is what view function means, okay? And I want to also create another function in here called wrapper. That will take requests and args and also keyword arguments. Okay. And what we pretty much need to see now is if request.user.is underscore super user is not equal to true, which means this user that is trying to access the, that route is not an admin. So why are they trying to access the route? That does make sense. Let's give them a friendly yell. So we'll say something like, first day I want to pass a request, then I want to say something like, you are not authorized to access this page. Back off. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep the back off part, okay? And now let's return redirect. And where should we redirect them to? Let's redirect them to the signing page. I think that's, that, that's one of the most um, useful thing that we could, we could help them do. So redirect them to user, then sign in. All good. So that is pretty much it, guys. That is everything that we want. Below the if statement, let's return view function and pass in requests, ax and quacks. In case you don't know, ax and quacks are pretty much things like the templates, name, the context, any other thing that you're passing in immediately after the view, okay? So, I'll pass in quags. There's a lot more to it though. There's a lot more to ask of quags. Don't worry, I'll actually make a post or write a very simple blog post for this in case you don't understand what they do, all right? And after all this is done, let's return the wrapper that will call the code. That is pretty much it. This view fork, what is going on here? Um, why 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 is it showing why is it showing an error? But with this now, let's take the admin required and import it into one of those pages here and see if we get if we are getting an active error or if that is just a warning. So I will say, but wait, hold on, let me. You say statements must be separated by new lines or semi semicolons. Actually, give it a new line. Let me break out from my server and run it again while importing from user admin dot decorators import admin required now you can take this admin required and put it over here as a decorator all right okay we are actively getting an invalid syntax over there you can see so let's carefully look at what's wrong with this code so the only bug that we are getting in this code is that we are not returning or we are redirecting that does not make sense to redirect. Instead, return view function and pass in acts and quacks. All right, if you get back here now and reload this page, you will see that's working. So now we can access this dashboard page. Oh, that wasn't going to the dashboard, right? Let's see. Dashboard is actually slash user admin slash dashboard. That is what dashboard is. See, we can successfully access this page, right? What if another user wants to access this page? See, now they get you are not authorized to access this page. Does this make sense? Because I'm an admin, I'm a super user, 
I can access this page, no issue, no yelling at me. But once someone else tries to access that same page, you can now see that it gets, hey, you're not authorized to access this page. So this is how login required was written. That if you're not logged in, it automatically shows, hey, you're not logged in and it takes you to somewhere else. We have written our own custom decorator. So all I want you to do now is take this and put it on all the views. You could collapse all this one after the other so you can easily put them. Collapse this, put here, 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 and also here. Remove it from the change order status. There is no need for it to be there. And here in the reviews also, I need it to be there. I also need it to be in settings. I also finally need it to be in the change password. So that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If there are more features you want to see in the e-commerce system, drop them in the comment section and I'll do my best to create the features. That is pretty much it. And if you're looking to set up a real e-commerce platform, hit me up, gmail.com and I will be more than happy to help you out. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.